<laughs> oh, that is so good, man. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to a new game for the channel that goes by the name of City Destructor. Now this game is a tiny little physics destruction sandbox. Uh, I love stuff like this and this one is especially nice. It's very simple but very well done. Now, I actually found this game through Komodo Gaming. He played it on his channel uh, a few days ago. So if you need more of this game after this video, go ahead and check him out. Uh, he makes great content. Anyway, uh, we get a quite a few levels here. Now, I have beat the game. Uh, there's 44 levels, and these get pretty hard uh, towards the end, especially if you're going for all golds. It gets pretty Pretty difficult, but we also have the playground, which just lets you mess around on any of the levels uh, with some extra fun toys. But before we get into that, uh, let's actually just see the actual game here. We'll start on the first level because it's fairly simple. All we got to blow up is this house. Now, there isn't really a reason given as to why we're destroying all these houses and buildings and stuff. Uh, but you know what? We don't need one, really. So it says we have one bomb to use. So we need to strategically place this uh, to cause the most damage as possible. So I'm going to put it right there because uh, hopefully it'll kind of blow some debris onto the car here. <laughs> and it just completely leveled the house. But I'm actually going to reset because we didn't get uh, the we didn't flatten the car that I way I wanted to. So let's put it on the top. Maybe towards the back. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more debris. There we go. Sent one caved in the back of the car. And I kind of like the way it, <laughs> it kind of flattens the car. So we did $300, $400 to the car. That seems kind of low for basically flattening the back of this thing. But we did $17,000 to the house, which doesn't get us a gold. It gets us about halfway between silver and gold. So you can see why uh, this can be kind of difficult. You have to actually strategically place all your explosives so let's try one more time there we go <laughs> yes i feel like i did a little bit more damage to the house that time and look at the back of that car man just absolutely smothered there we go nineteen thousand dollars in damage and 800 for the car which gets us into the gold so that's how the game works let's go and uh check out some of the later levels in the game uh because they get pretty Pretty insane. I even like the main menu here. Uh, so let's go to like level of uh, let's see 33. I did get a gold on this level somehow. Uh, so here we go. Not a crazy scene here, but there's quite a few buildings here and some boats as well. So first off, I think to get the most points possible, we need to take down the two biggest buildings. That's what we need to worry about. Uh, first now I found a pretty good way of collapsing buildings entirely. It works about 90% of the time uh, And that's putting one explosive on either side. We have six uh, Explosives to use here. So I'm gonna put one right there and one on the other side and then the same uh, Over here and then I think we can basically destroy this building just by putting one on the top. That'll basically um, Bring the whole thing down. Now, I'm kind of relying on debris falling onto these buildings uh, but just for good measure, let's put one right on the top of this one just to cause as much damage as possible. And hopefully some debris will fall onto the boats down below just for some extra money here. So I think everything's good. So let's go and hit that boom button. There we go. And it looks like <laughs> I don't know how this building is standing right now, but for some reason it did not collapse. So we're actually going to need to try that one again because... If both of these don't collapse, there's no way I'm going to even get a silver uh, on these things. So we need to make sure that these both collapse here. I'm going to put one right there and one right there. And let's hope that they both come down this time. But again, the exact same. <laughs> you know what? Maybe if I put them a little lower, it will kind of just blow out the entire bottom of the buildings here. So let's put one right there. And I'm actually going to put it on this building this time. And then one right there. Come on. What is still standing? Why does it keep breaking the exact? You know what? Fine. We'll put them higher this time. Okay, there we go. So I put them, what is that? Like the fifth level of the building here. So this, I, they don't come down this time. There we go. Okay, now we got that one coming down. But now this one is, is not. Okay, see, so yeah, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of trial and error that goes into this game. It's a strategy game slash puzzle game, but also 
a physics sandbox game. So it's it has a lot of different elements. For being such a simple game, it has a lot of stuff. There we go. Both the buildings coming down. Not a ton of damage. To, I mean, there's a big old chunk of that building missing, but it didn't actually collapse. So hopefully that doesn't count against us too much. It would have been perfect if this one would have came down as well. If I would have had one more bomb, I think, uh, excuse me, I think we could have got it. But let's see. Let's see what this gets us to almost to the gold, but not quite. But I have actually beat this uh, with the gold medal, so it's not too big of a deal. But look at all this damage, man. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. All right. So uh, let's go to one of the very late levels here and see how crazy this game actually gets. So let's go to like level 43. So, yeah, as you can see, there's like two cargo ships here. So we want to get debris onto those so that we can actually get them to sink. Uh, because I imagine they're worth quite a bit of money. We have 10 bombs to use here, uh, so plenty of destruction to be had. I'm going to put one right there and under right there. We have four more, so I'm going to put one right there, 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 and there, I think, should be good. We have a bomb on basically every uh, building here. Now, we can't put one on the actual boat, uh, so you have to rely on the debris falling onto them. Uh, to get the point. So let's hope for the best here. There we go. <laughs> Just absolutely flattened everything. And there they go into the abyss. I think that went pretty darn well. This building could have been destroyed a little bit more, but it's all basically rubble uh, at this point. Oh, man, this one's this one's. Yeah, they're both going down down into the abyss that's scary looking not gonna lie okay so let's uh scoot it forward a little bit see how we did oh man we didn't actually we didn't get a gold for that i feel like i destroyed basically everything i mean like i said this could have gone a little better there uh but for the most part i would say we just flat out flattened everything hold on we'll try that one more time uh, i think this is the best the best kind of layout for these so I don't know what else I can really do I mean I guess it, it, it there is a lot of luck since it is physics based there is a lot of luck that goes into this as well uh, luck of just random pieces falling onto certain stuff you know stuff like that physics stuff so you, do, you know you might have the perfect formula but you might have to do it a couple times to get the desired effect there we go okay yeah so it seems like you got the pretty much the same the same effect here that's still the part that I, if that would have come down it's barely holding up look at all the cracks in this thing uh if that would have come down i think we could probably get a pass gold but i'm assuming this is probably going to be another silver medal let's actually see here is it even going to be that yes oh well, actually we got a little bit closer to gold uh but that's okay so let's go into the actual sandbox mode of this game and i want to show you guys something because there is just so many freaking bombs that you can buy here. We have uh, 1.8 million, so we have plenty of money to mess around with here. Uh, so let's actually go back to play and go to playground mode. And I want to mess around with some of the bigger environments here. So let's actually go to the very last level of the game, uh, which has a ton of buildings here. And let's see what we can mess around with here. We got the stasis field bomb. Uh, which has a lot of range, but not a ton of power. I want a lot of power. The anti-gravity bomb is 100,000. Uh, but let's actually try this out. I want to use... I want to try this out. Uh, so we'll put one right there. And should we just try it with one right now? Yeah, I think we should. Just to see what happens. Is it just going to tear the building apart from the inside out? Yes, it is. <laughs> it just... It, th it throws debris everywhere, which is good for if you're trying to get... um a lot of stuff at once but as far as actual power goes it really only destroyed completely anyway uh that one building unfortunately so i mean it was cool but i think you'd probably need quite a few of them to actually cause a lot of damage here so let's see what else we got the meteor bomb which i assume makes meteors rain down onto uh, unsuspecting civilians okay we'll put one on each on the, on top of every major building here uh and see what happens so here we go the meteor bomb let's try it out oh my goodness <laughs> oh okay so it was only four actual meteors so the, yeah it ripped through the buildings but it didn't even flatten them wow okay so uh let's try this with just a bunch 
of regular bombs here. So we'll put one right there, 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 there. <laughs> there, one on every floor. How about that? And then we'll put some right here, down below as well. So there's nothing left at all. And then we'll put some right there, 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 there. <laughs> we got unlimited power this time, folks. So let's use it to our full advantage. We're just going to paint the, the walls purple. Oh, this place is going to be absolutely dead. It's going to be like we're dropping a nuke on this thing, basically. I wonder if there is a nuke that we can buy. It's probably going to be quite a bit of money. But you know what? That That's not a, much of a worry of me right now. I'm just going to put as many here as we can. Hopefully it doesn't lag the game too bad when we do this. Uh, but I hope you guys are ready. Let's get a good view here. Like right about there. That looks pretty good. There we go. All right. Three, two, one, and boom. Yeah. Chain reaction of destruction. Oh, my goodness. And there's nothing left. There's nothing left, folks. Wow. And all the cars flattened as well. Uh, so how much damage do we just do? Uh, I'm guessing quite a bit here. Let's see. Will it tell us? Yeah. <laughs> 977,000. Wow, we didn't even do a million? Seriously? I feel like all these buildings, even one of them would be a million dollars, but apparently not. Uh, I don't know how the money in this game works, but that was still pretty good. Let's find a different level here. Uh, I want to find one that has some bridges, because the ones with the bridges are especially cool here. Maybe this one has one? Nope, this one doesn't have one. I, I'm trying to remember. Maybe, maybe it's the, the ones in the 30s that have the explosions here. Uh, let's just go... Yeah, you know, I'll just keep trying these until I find one, I guess. Okay, so this map actually has a bridge. So what do we want to play around with on this one? Let's start at the top here. The Chaos Bomb, Thrower Bomb, Imploder Bomb, Cluster Bomb, Chrono Bomb. What's the, like, can we sort these by um by like, mat, like how much destruction they do? I don't know. What's the Raindrop Bomb? Is that like a carpet bomb type thing? Uh, these are worth a ton of money. $400,000? $500,000? Five hundred. Look at the stats on this. Oh my goodness. You know, I kind of want to try one of these. The King Bomb. Let's try this one out. And we'll put one on every building and one right in the middle of the bridge here. There we go. Right there. There and there. Okay, so let's find out what the King Bomb does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a musical bomb. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, we, we forgot to put one on that building, but I don't think it matters. That thing kept going for a while. There's still one right there. You gonna blow up, buddy? Or is that just the music? <laughs> I don't know. That was awesome, though. It's still playing, man. So we did, yeah, 847,000. So we basically destroyed everything. Well, now I want to try the other musical one. Uh, the Can-Can, the 1812. Let's try the 1812 bomb. Now, what song is this going to play? It's probably going to be obvious once it starts, but let's put a couple on the bridge, actually. And some over here, 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 and here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that is so good, man. That is so good. It perfectly fits this kind of game. Oh, that is awesome. And just like that, everything's gone. Everything is gone. I love that. Okay, so let's try another one. Whoops. Okay, let's go to the end. How much money do we do damage here? Um... 845. Can we get to a million? I feel like there's got to be uh, at least one map that we can get a million dollars in damage in. Yes, an entire city block. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen on this one. All right, so let's try the rainbow or the raindrop bomb here because uh, I, I imagine this is just going to be like a carpet bomb type situation. So I'm just going to put these just absolutely everywhere here and see... How many we can actually put because I don't know. I don't know if there is a limit uh, to how much you can actually put it for just as limited by your computer. I don't want to test it too much because I don't want my computer to die uh, from this game, but I'll put it. I'll put a good healthy amount of these down uh, for us here. There we go. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So let's see what the raindrop bomb 
uh, brings upon this poor, poor city block. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's starting to get a little laggy. It's starting to get a little laggy. But, yes, basically just a, a bunch of different... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was that was pretty good. We'd use 78 bombs there. Nice. But I mean, really, this building's still pretty much standing, I guess. But uh yeah, not a lot survived after that just absolute downpour of explosions. All right, I kind of want to try the the uh, the black hole bomb as well. Just cuz you know it's a black hole. Why would I not want to try that? All right, let's just put one or two uh, on every building here. A few for the, uh, the bigger ones here and there, right there, right there, right there. There, there. Okay. Okay, I guess that's pretty good. So let's see what the black hole bombs do. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, it's, it's messing with gravity quite a bit. There we go. <laughs> Basically just picked everything up. And just like that, it's flattened. It's all gone, folks. <laughs> It's all gone. There's just pieces landing all over the place. All right, how much should we do that time? A million dollars? Come on. No. Oh, close. 940,000. Well, you know, uh, that's still pretty good, I would say. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's uh, City Destructor, a fun little game. I think it's just a couple dollars uh, on the Steam store. I'll have a link down below if you want to try this out for yourself. It's a ton of fun. Simple yet fun. It's That's that's what's good about this. It's it's very simple premise, uh, but everything works really good. So I highly recommend uh, you check it out. But that's going to do it for this episode of a City Destructor. If you guys want to see more of this game on the channel, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and that'll about do it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.